Hello, today I'm going to show you how you can make some abstract art pieces that you could like use maybe for a cool interior design for a building, whatever the case. Uh, what we're going to do is um, create a plane. So you can use a square like I'll be using for this tutorial, but you can use a rectangle, a sphere, whatever you want. Just keep in mind that the pieces that we'll be making, uh, because we will be making pieces, um, will uh, together will look like the shape we'll be working on right now. So in this case, it's a square. Okay, so let's do an and let's insert a face right there. So we have some buffer. Uh, and we want to subdivide this. You can subdivide this as many times as you want, uh, just to keep it, just to make it easy to read. Let's just leave it at seven because it will get a little bit messy <laughs> from now on. We'll clean it up very soon though. So before we move on, we need to deselect these exterior edges. And now we're pretty much going to decide the distance between each face, uh, between each face, between each uh, piece, okay? And that will be with a bevel. So, like a distance, uh, this will look fine. So, you could do less, uh, make it look very tight, or whatever, or just make it very very big so I'm using the J key to join these uh, uh, vertices if you use uh, the F key instead it won't create the it won't separate the faces okay so you want to use the J key just keep that in mind so let's do few more. Ooh, that's not what we wanted. Uh, okay. So that looks cool. So of course, uh, what we're doing it really is like the separations between each piece. So this will give the, we're pretty much deciding right now what each piece will look like. So uh, now here comes the most boring part of this method, uh, sadly. I'll try to be as quick as possible and if uh, it takes me a long time, I will um, speed up the video but what we want to do is select each uh, area I guess you could say and make sure you select every single face in that area of course you can fix it later but as you can see it's it can be it can be tricky especially if you did a lot of subdivisions or you're working with like a very complex um, shape. It can be quite tricky. So once we're done with this, we will clean it up uh, because obviously this is not uh, the has too many faces of and it's just not uh, very pleasant to work with I guess you could say
Okay, so once we have all those uh, faces selected, we want to duplicate these and let's make them into their own object. And we want to make sure everything is all right. So as you can see, we do have one little problem over here, which is this uh, must have missed a face, which is completely fine. Uh, but I think we're good to go. So what we want to do now is, oh, actually, tend to make this into its own object. Uh, completely forgot. So what we want to do is a uh, do a limited dissolve. Um, make sure there's no weird vertice floating around anywhere. Okay, so once we have that, uh, you can, well, you can use this directly. I'll show you a few examples of what you can do. Anyway, um, so cool thing to do is to do Jeez, we have just to do like a boolean um, well, it doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, so let's go to modifiers, boolean, select the object, uh, make sure it's some difference and apply, and there you go. Uh, this is another thing you can do, is this is actually one of my favorite things, and this this is probably my favorite um, with this method is, make, well, first of all, make sure you have the face selection mode on and you want to select poke faces so this really gives that like cool modern style and you can pretty much do a lot of things with this you can move these down you can move these up actually that usually, usually tends to look better Another thing you can actually do is um, this actually looks pretty nice too. Uh, although you don't want to, you want to be kind of careful with this though. And select a few of these like um, areas and start doing bevels and it will give a very nice look and you can do a few more and you can do it to well obviously you can do it to every single edge and give it like a smooth look you can do really just whatever you want with these pieces so I hope you have enjoyed this video if you did please uh, please like and subscribe it really helps so see you in the next one bye